Hyrule groaned as sensations overcame the darkness, and his eyes flickered open. Pain, or was it the memory of pain, shot through his body, and then faded away almost as quickly. What in the Fallen's names had happened? You're awake. Lone's voice drifted over to Hyrule's ears, and the large man shortly followed, leaning over to look at Hyrule's face. Fingers thicker than sausages pried Hyrule's eyes wide, and Lone looked at each long and hard before finally leaning out of Hyrule's line of sight. Bring up your status window, and let's see if any lasting damage was done. Lasting damage? Still, Hyrule didn't say anything, pulling up the window for Lone with a thought. Hmm. Your attributes look fine. Though I really wonder about these intelligence and wisdom scores after that stunt. And this? What's this down here? Lone pointed at a notification near the bottom of Hyrule's window. Overcharge attempt. Unsuccessful. Debuff applied. System shock. System shock. No class abilities can be used for one hour. 174 seconds remaining. No class abilities can be... Hyrule started, then barked out a short laugh. He didn't even have a class for abilities. This isn't something to laugh about, Hyrule, Lone said, more seriously than Hyrule would have expected. I've heard of others triggering this overcharge. It maximizes solar output for a brief moment, but comes with risks. At best, nothing happens. More likely, people suffer this debuff, and their internal solar pathways are shut down, so they can't be damaged further. At the worst, though, well, people completely lose their ability to utilize solar energy. And before you wonder if that's maybe what happens to you, they can't even use their status window anymore. Try to avoid doing that again. Hyrule nodded but mention of the solar output rate turned his attention to that section of his status window. He'd felt something when he overcharged, but apparently it wasn't enough. Output rate. Unavailable. Go ahead and close the window, Lone instructed, and Hyrule followed suit, more than happy to ignore those cursed words while his eyes refocused on his surroundings. The ceiling of the room told him he wasn't in the testing arena anymore, and the cot beneath him was uncomfortably familiar. Back in Lone's training compound, Hyrule turned to the question that had been rattling around his head since he opened his eyes, the one he couldn't work up the nerve to voice. Did I pass? <laughs> <laughs>